Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So first of all, many of you may notice I got a new channel emblem. It's a little collage I made myself of How Train a Dragon and the Waldens Road to Avonlea, the House on the Prairie, and Heartland. All the shows I'm going to be talking about on this show. Alright, so, it's Walden Week. This is the series I watch, well, it's my least favorite. I like them all, but this one, this is the one I've seen the least. I only have the first four seasons. Um, I'm currently rewatching it. I was on season seven, but we can't order anymore because, you know, the library is closed and all that. It's open now, but before we couldn't get it because, you know, quarantine and all that. So, um, yes. Sorry, I am... I got a little excited and, and out of breath there. So, why do I love the Waldens? Well, again, the Waldens is like a lot of the shows I watch about a family struggling to make ends meet. Of course, this one is during the Great Depression for the first. five seasons. Sixth season, World War One, World War Two has started in Europe, but they aren't in the world war till seventy till season seven, because that's nineteen forty one. And so the reason I love this show is because it brings part of history in, and this yes, this one's based off of a true story. Like this one actually is based off a true story, like um, Little House on the Prairie. And it's based off of one book, Spencer's Mountain, and the creator and writer, Earl Hamner, it's, that's his life story. Earl Hamner is pretty much John Boy. And so it's part of history, and it shows what families lived like during the Great Depression and all that, especially families with seven kids, instead of two or three or maybe even just the one that most of them would have had during that time. And during the, it also shows what it's like for each member during the Second World War. For Olivia, Grandma, and those who who lived, who went through the First World War. For John Boy and Jason, who were born during the First World War, and are now fighting in it. For Mary Ellen, who has her husband killed in it. Spoiler, more on. I guess the next video, because I'm uploading two today because I'm gone Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and it's Tuesday. And for her being a nurse, and, well, she's not really close to him, but she works in the mountain, but her, still, that experience. For, and for Erin, running a defense plant, so being firsthand with the war combat, with Ben, Having a young family, and he's fighting the war for Jim Bob. Not he wants to enlist, but he has to wait till he's eighteen, and then he enlists. Of course, he actually doesn't go overseas like the others. And then for Elizabeth, the youngest doesn't really understand what's going on, but still experiencing the war. Now, if many of you are like me, you've never experienced war, and I'm sixteen, so the war in Afghanistan, I was like six or whatever. I'm not sure what year that was. If you guys know, please clarify down in the comments below. And I had no idea what was going on. And I, I've never experienced war. I've experienced fights that seem like war and stuff like that. But I've never actually experienced a full-on country against country war. Then saying, I do know what's going on. I have heard of the stuff going on in Korean stuff and all that, but, uh, as my friends see, I live under a rock because I don't have social media or satellite TV, so I have no idea what's going on in the news. I don't know what's going on in social media. I don't know what, you know, any, like, that, what that stuff is, so... Yeah, I live under a rock, but it's a very comfortable rock, and I do love living under the rock, so. And don't call me out on it, it's a lovely place. And you do get the quirks, like my friends do tell me about this stuff, but I still don't get it. 
And the Waltons, that kind of... It's about history, and it's about... Everything that went on during that time. And the family is also struggling, well, to make ends meet. They're not, they're not struggling to survive. They are surviving, but they are struggling to make ends meet. And we eventually... And this season actually goes, it has a transition of main characters. That usually doesn't happen in a show. In Little House on the Prairie, it's Laura. But they do take some episodes where they strain away from her, where they'll focus on Mary or the Olsons or even a character we've never even heard of. And then How to Train Your Dragon Hiccup in the movies. Some scenes she's not in them. Then the TV show, it's mostly about Hiccup and his friends, both TV shows. And so sometimes they'll focus on a fish legs, but he's still a main character. And then Heartland, it's mostly about the family. Um, and I did a video on that, so you can argue down below. Same with Dr. Avonlea, that one's mostly about the family. They do strain away for, like, whether they do a townsfolk or something. Waldens, they actually go through a whole new character, Shift. The first four... Well, maybe two seasons is about John Boy, and then it kind of shifts over to the family. First two seasons, it's about John Boy and his, he's graduating college and the struggle of him being the oldest. By season three, it's transitioned over to the whole family, as they have some stories where it focuses on Jason, Mary Ellen, Aaron, Ben, Jim Bob, Elizabeth, or even Grandpa. So. Grandpa, Grandma, John, and Olivia. And that's the thing I like is, even though they transition main characters towards the whole family, it still works. And it still is good, and it kept the views for people to watch. And this show is actually more famous than Little House on the Prairie, I believe, at its time. Even though they had a about the same time. This one, and actually probably, I can, well, I'm not sure, but this one again did have nine seasons. But instead of having the normal amount in nine seasons, they had less because the show was cancelled. And then they did some uni movies. Yeah, so basically the reason I love this show is because it shows what families went through in history and the family sticking together no matter what, which is pretty much all the shows I watch. Except for How to Train Your Dragon. That one is just amazing, though. Alright, so stay tuned for later on today, I guess, when I... I am talking about Kurt's death, and then... I guess stay tuned for tomorrow. Uh, talking about a video that has to do with every show. And then stay tuned for next week as it's back to How to Train Your Dragon week. Alright. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a like, comment down below, see ya.